What's up, guys? I'm Omar from Real Take Wrestling, and today I'm going to be talking about why Cody Rhodes should lose to Roman Reigns at WrestleMania this Sunday. Before I do, though, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. All right. Cody Rhodes, the prodigal son. He made his return last year at WrestleMania. He's facing Seth Rollins. It was one of the best moments in the history, honestly, of the entire event. We saw the reaction he got. He went down with an injury. He comes back at the Rumble. And everyone expects him to come back and win. Why? Because the night after he returned to WrestleMania last year, he cut this promo. It's very passionate, emotional promo where he basically laid out why he came back to WWE. You know, he was in AEW. He helped start AEW. And WWE is not shied away from that. But... They also haven't shied away for, from the reason that he came over, and that was to win the WWE Championship. A championship that his father, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, uh, almost won. However, it didn't count because Dusty won via countout. And he said that he's in WWE to fulfill that prophecy. He laid out that prophecy, he's here to fulfill it, and he's got a chance to do it this Sunday. WrestleMania Night 2, the main event, Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, and at all every bit of like logic, every bit of of fan in you wants to see him win, and that's the most logical solution. That's the most log logical conclusion, I should say. And I hear that, I understand that. Hell, I agree with it, but not to the point of what it could mean, and 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 not to the. To the extent that I think that that's what WWE should do. And here's why. Because a win for Cody Rhodes this Sunday would mean a lot. Like, don't get me wrong. It would, it, it would be great. It would be a fantastic moment. Finally. Finally. The dude who everyone wanted to be the next guy, right? The, the, he wins and he defeats Roman Reigns. This 900 plus day reign as WWE Universal Heavyweight Champion over. And it's Cody the most babyface, babyface to have ever babyface to pick up the victory. And it would mean a lot. And it will mean a lot when it eventually happens. Because I don't think it will or should happen at WrestleMania. Here's why. So, Cody, like I said, biggest babyface in wrestling right now. He, his story, like the story of Cody Rhodes, you know, winning the WWE Championship. At a certain point, it needs to have a big hurdle. Now, you could argue that that big hurdle was the injury he suffered at the hands of Seth Rollins at Hell in a Cell last year. Or, or sorry, not at the hands of Seth Rollins. In storyline, I guess, at the hands of Seth Rollins. But the injury going into Hell in a Cell that kept him out for months on end. You could argue that that was his big hurdle that he needed to face. But I think that something that would mean more right and, and something that would make cody's eventual moment mean more is and it, it's if you play it right and and i know granted wwe does not have a good track record with playing these things right but if you're able to play it right and you're able to have cody lose and lose in a tragic way like i'm talking about like i mean look the, the first thing that like, pops into my mind and a lot of you are probably going to laugh at this is a count out victory for Cody Rhodes in the main event of WrestleMania now 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 okay hear me out hear me out hear me out the reason why I say that isn't just because you know I think that you have to keep Cody a little bit clean and, and you have to have him win but like not win in, in in a weird way but at the same time the callback that would be because remember when Dusty won that championship match way back when and and but didn't walk away with the title, the reason why he didn't walk away with the championship was because, wait for it, he, he won via countout. And the championship belt cannot change hands via countout. That has been established. It's been like a long-running thing in professional wrestling. So, naturally... Having that happen to Cody, having him beat Roman Reigns, clean, not in the middle of the ring, but clean, but not having him win the title, it would suck in the moment. Don't get me wrong. Fans, you're going to be irate, and, and you have every right to, to, to be that way and feel that way, but the what could happen afterwards, and and, and the, the I, I think it could build up something more in the fans. I genuinely think it could build up something more in the fans, build up something more in the feud, 
and and you could do it at SummerSlam. And I, and I've maintained this the entire time. Day one since Cody Rhodes came in, I said the first time he challenges Roman Reigns for the title, he should not win. And I've been a staunch advocate of that uh, since day one because Cody's story specifically. It can't, it like, in my eyes at least, it can't just be he comes back and he accomplishes everything on the checklist that he has immediately. Because he's won the Royal Rumble. He's defeated Seth Rollins three times in Hell in a Cell. He's, he's beaten every single person in front of him. At a certain point, he needs that adversity. And at a certain point, he needs something added to his story so it's not just, okay, we're strapping Cody to the moon, which you should do eventually, and you could do it at SummerSlam. You could do it next year at the Royal Rumble. You could do it any time. You could do it on a SmackDown. You could do it at a SmackDown Madison Square Garden show and, and have it mean, I think, even more to Cody because it happened in the same building that, that Dusty won, again, quote-unquote, won that championship match. So I think there are definitely a few ways you can play it, but for me, all ro roads, all roads, all roads point to... Cody not winning at WrestleMania and all roads point to an eventual win. And he should be the guy at this point. He's got the, he's selling the most merch right now. He's got the biggest reactions. The whoa, or like the biggest you you'll ever hear, uh, a, a bigger than they've ever been, even in AEW. So, I mean, he's the guy, don't get me wrong. I just think he needs that level of adversity and, and that wrinkle, I should say, of adversity in his story to make him a better babyface, to make him a better character, a more well-rounded character, one who's had to go through something, one who's had to come to, to the realization and come to, come to reflect on his own failures and then overcome them. That's what a being a good babyface is about, overcoming the obstacles both externally being against heels and, and, and bad guys and Roman Reigns and internally with oneself. And Cody, I think, needs that little bit of that internal struggle in order to make his story even better. So if you're asking me who should win at WrestleMania, win, eh, who should walk away with the title, I think it should be Roman Reigns the way the cards are currently stacked. Now... Who should, have, who should be the guy to beat Roman Reigns? It's Cody. And I know a lot of you are not going to like that. And I know a lot of you probably are like looking at this video being like, Haha, you little geek, <laughs> you're going to be proven wrong, you and Meltzer. <laughs> That's great. That's the great thing about wrestling, though. You can have multiple opinions and, it's, and still have it lead to an awesome moment. Like, if Cody does win, I will 100% be cheering, be happy, right? Will I be? Will I kind of feel like, hey, there's a little bit more to this story that they could have done? Absolutely, absolutely. But it does. It won't take away from the fact that Cody should be the next guy. And at least if they get that right, I can be happy. And Cody's an awesome guy. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna root for Cody Rhodes. Like, like let's not act like, like it's, it's a thing of like, oh, this jobber on the internet hates Cody Rhodes. Blah 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 blah. Whatever. Uh, it ain't anything like that. It's mainly just. From a character standpoint, I just think Cody needs that extra wrinkle of adversity. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think? Could Cody win? Should he lose? Should he win but not win the title? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And remember, we have a packed schedule for WrestleMania week. We got live streams throughout the week, post shows for Raw, SmackDown. Hell, I threw in a post show for AEW. OT graphs on Tuesday. All that stuff is listed on the Real Take Wrestling community page on YouTube and at Real Take W on Twitter. So go check that out. And until next time, be happy, be healthy, and keep it real.